Hey, this is the LED matrix, RGB matrix. Turn it on. Get some speed a couple different patterns you can run. Yeah. Run some text, some bubbles. It actually sounds pretty good. Let's start at the top. So we have this, which is an RGB matrix, 32 by 32. We have the bridge, which is made by LR Bags. It is a piezo bridge. Uh, if you can see in the bottom, uh, not so clear, but there's uh, wires that go from each one of the saddles goes uh, is a piezo and they all get um, combined into a, a board on the bottom of this and then you got the tailpiece. Now I have the um, switches here power to this gives voltage to the actual matrix and this turns on the Arduino board so once you have the combination it's pretty bright. Um, when the battery goes down on this you'll see the uh, the matrix actually starts to fade out and now the switch here is just basically to run different programs off the Arduino board. Uh, I have four patterns that's running. Um, the board itself doesn't have that much memory, so it's tough to run many more. Um, so I got four, one just text, another one just sort of the bubbles, uh, and then again the lava plasma sort of display, uh, which was a code that was already existing. I just uh, copied that code for this. And then the sound bars to make it seem like uh, like you're actually uh, picking up the sound and playing sound bars. Uh, on the back side of the guitar, and actually let's look at the neck. Uh, neck is unfortunately a not a fan of this one. Bought it off uh, eBay. I put this to dampen the strings a little bit. Uh, it's this banana shaped neck. Uh, not the best. I cheapened out too much on that one. I wish I hadn't. I did have to cut out a big chunk out of this, the bottom, as you notice, because the scale length otherwise would, wouldn't work too well. Um, because I had to cut this out, I actually have a reinforced bar that goes bolts into the neck down here and then goes inside the body and bolts onto the back of it so that the neck won't, uh, won't bend too much. Uh, and I also put this bar on the bottom to give it even uh, some more... Uh, more strength on it. Now of course that means the guitar is pretty heavy. Uh, so looking at the back, so we start out um, this is a power uh, voltage converter so take the 9 volts and convert it to 5 volts and then it's sending that to the RGB matrix. Uh, that's the one that gets turned on by the blue or uh, green button sorry on the front. Uh, then we have the Arduino. This is a header uh, to assemble basically to take all the outputs from the Arduino, connect them to the RGB ribbon, and that then gets fed into the matrix. Uh, and then I have just these couplers for the different uh, outputs into the switch, so the different positions for the switch. And here you got the green and the blue uh, power switches. Uh, battery cavity, this is the one that's feeding the actual Arduino board. And then as we go down here, so now this is the uh, for the LR big or bag, sorry, uh, bridge. Uh, this is where all those cables that you see down there, they all get assembled, sent into this. And here they combine them and sends them now into the volume pot and the output. So overall, 
uh, fairly straightforward, I guess, but um, it does make it heavy, eh? Because the wood I used is a pretty solid maple, uh, and then I did have to put these metal bars in there because uh, I cut out so much of the neck that you only have this really short piece at the at the tail end supporting the tension of the strings. But you know, for a uh, for a project made at home, uh, it's actually kind of fun. It was neat. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will. Try and build something else more interesting.